How can I stay happy? Yes, it is possible to always remain happy, but uh, the happiness has to come from within. So when the happiness comes from within, it is it lasts longer. It is actually can be everlasting, and one can always be in a constant state of bliss or happiness. But if one seeks happiness outside or gets affected from events outside oneself, then one cannot be happy all the time. Those uh, uh, moments of happiness are simply just moments of happiness and are temporary. Let me narrate a story about uh, a king who was a hypochondriac. Hypochondriac means he was uh, always thinking he is ill or he has a disease or something, but it was not really so. He was perfectly healthy, but always imagined that he had some illness or the other. So once in his court, he uh, called his uh, head physician and told him that he his hands are burning and his feet are burning and he has a headache and you know it seems his whole body is on fire and uh, he needs a cure for it you know by this time his courtiers his wife his physicians were quite sick of him because every day he would come up with some new ailment which obviously did not exist but he would want a cure for it so the head physician, who was a wise old man, decided that let me get rid of his ailments once and for all. So he said to the king, your majesty, actually I have a cure for all your illnesses. If you take this cure, you will never be sick again. The king was overjoyed. He said, yeah, what is it? Tell me. You just have to find a happy man and wear his shirt for a day. The king said, oh, that's simple. So he asked all his assembled courtiers and uh, soldiers, tell me which one of you is happy. I would like to borrow your shirt for a day. All of them hung their head. They said, we are wretched souls, Her Majesty. We are not happy. The king then summoned his noblemen and his generals. They assembled at his court. Then he asked them, which one of you is happy? I would like to borrow your shirt just for a day. All of them said, Your Majesty, we are not happy. We, have, we are under so much stress. We have um, so many problems and we have uh, so much pressure of work. We are very unhappy people. The king then sent his soldiers out into the city and said, Go and find a happy man for me. The soldiers went out came back by the evening and reported to the king. So sorry, your highness, we could not find a single happy person in your city. The king then divided his army into small uh, regiments or small units and asked them to go to each and every corner of his kingdom and search and find a happy man and bring it to him. After uh, a few months, all the units reported back to the king and gave him the same answer that we could not find a single happy person in your kingdom. The king said, you imbeciles cannot find a single happy person in my vast kingdom. Is there nothing that gets done here unless I do it myself? I am going to go out myself in my chariot and take a small army with me and find a happy person. So off he went into various parts of his kingdom. 
kept traveling for six months, could not find a happy man. And as in a far flung corner of his kingdom, he was sitting in his tent, contemplating, he's surely going to die. As he was thinking all these negative thoughts and in a, in a, and contemplating his own death, two of his generals suddenly burst through the tent, saying, Oh king, we have found a happy man. The king was overjoyed. He said, yes, let's go. And he took out his horses and they went to meet this happy man. And there he sat under a tree, an old fakir. The king went near him, came down from his horse and touched his feet, which is a manner of paying respects to an old person in Eastern tradition. And asked him, Sir, are you happy? He said, Yes, I am happy. King said, Oh, can you please quickly give me a shirt of yours? Just I'd like to just borrow it for a day so I can wear it. So the fakir had a good laugh. And once he could stop laughing, he said to the king, But oh king. I don't have a shirt. I don't own a shirt. Yeah. So happiness is kind of like that elusive shirt, you know, that we are seeking outside of us. As if once we get that shirt, we'll remain happy. Or once we get this new phone, we'll be happy. Once we get this job, we'll be happy. Once we get this promotion, we'll be happy. Once we get this girl, we'll be happy. Once I get this guy, I'll be happy. Once I get this house, I'll be happy. So. But these are the, not the things which are going to give us happiness because they cannot, no external object can give us happiness. The true happiness, everlasting happiness can come only from within ourselves. If you have any feedback, any comments, any suggestions, please do so on this page. If you would like to ask me a question, you are welcome to ask me one. Thank you for watching this video.